Maya Hawke has been a big part of Stranger Things and the fans absolutely love her. Her work as Robin Buckley has been sublime, but fans want to see more. They can breathe a sigh of relief as Hawke's new star-studded movie finally has a release date. Seeing her share the same screen with some of the biggest stars would be great. In this video, we'll talk about her upcoming movie and much more. So let's start. First up, the release date has been announced. A release date has been announced for Hawke's new movie. Movie, and it isn't too far away. June 16th, 2023 is the day when the movie will be released in US cinemas for a limited period. It will be released globally on June 23rd, 2023. So the fans outside of the States will have to wait just a few more days, but we know you guys are patient and you can do it easily. The movie's called Asteroid City and it is directed by Wes Anderson. Anderson's work in the past has been great as the Grand Budapest Hotel and Moonrise Kingdom were great movies and big hits. So we can expect some good things from Asteroid City as well. Plus, when you have such a big star-studded cast, things can hardly go wrong. Up next, Asteroid City has an amazing cast. Just wait till you hear about the cast of this movie. You'll get even more excited because we did. The cast includes Tom Hanks, Brian Cranston, Scarlett Johansson, Margot Robbie, Jason Schwartzman, Jeffrey Wright, and Tilda Swinton. See, we told you guys you will be even more excited after after hearing about the cast. That is one heck of a cast though. We never thought we'd ever see all of them starring in the same movie, and we're sure you guys never thought about that as well. Add Maya Hawke to this cast as well, and you've got yourself all the right tools to make some magic happen. Coming up, a bit about the movie. Now that you guys know all about the all-star cast and the release date, don't you want to know what the movie's about? Let's talk a bit about that. Asteroid City is based on a story idea from Anderson and Roman Coppola. The two people joined their heads and came up with this original idea of their own. The movie set in the mid-1950s in an American desert town called Asteroid City, which is obviously a fictional town. A world-changing event happens at a space cadet convention, and it spreads chaos everywhere. Next up, Maya Hawke says she'd love to get her hero's moment. Maya Hawke started the filming for Asteroid City in the middle of her work for Stranger Things. No one thought that a character introduced in only the third season of a show would so quickly become a fan favorite. It was just amazing. Hawk recently said something about her character's fate in Stranger Things. She said it would be so good for her if her character dies on the show and dies like a hero. As the show's about to end, this would be a good ending, though the fans would be broken. We don't think the writers have planned something like this. She further added that the writers of the show, Duffer Brothers, love all of their actors and that's the reason they write so beautifully about all of them. And and even she doesn't think that they'll kill her character off. Let's see what happens. We can't wait for season five. Now, moving on to Noah Schnapp's talk style, school, and just a hint of Stranger Things final season. First up, Noah Schnapp's a style icon. When you're a part of the second most successful Netflix show ever, it takes you places. For those of you wondering, Squid Game's number one. He could be Gen Z's leading renaissance man. Schnapp's also huge on TikTok with over 31 million followers, and he's also the finder of TBH, which is a hazelnut cocoa spread brand. So clearly, apart from Stranger Things, Schnapp's doing pretty well, but obviously this is all because of Stranger Things. But we are here to talk about his style because of the way he showed up at the People's Choice Awards in Los Angeles. We have to talk about it. He also bagged the award for Best Male TV Star and Show of 2022 with Stranger Things. And in that event, his style game was on top. Snap donned a midnight blue double-breasted Fendi suit. Underneath the suit, he was wearing an off-white turtleneck along with a cross body bag. His stylist, Philippe Uter, and groomer, Simone, did some amazing work. He had a conversation with his stylist before the event about the outfit and said that he's not a big fan of formal outfits. But Uter said he added a turtleneck and a crossbody to add a more casual look to the outfit, which clearly worked wonders. Now, no Noah Schnapp says he's not a big fan of his outfits on Stranger Things. Even though that's the role that made him famous, Schnapp has revealed that he doesn't like his outfits on the show. But at the same time, he says that a lot of time and effort goes into designing those outfits and getting them ready for the shoot, so he appreciates that and is taking nothing away from the designers. He's right though, we won't wear those outfits in real life, and he won't either. They only worked on the screen. Pulling off Will's whole look wasn't an easy job. 
job though. We can imagine how much hard work and skill are required to pull off something like that. Schnapp also talks about the viral meme from season four as well. The scene where Will's looking away from Mike out of the car's window crying. That picture just went viral like crazy. Even if you don't watch the show, you must have seen that picture as a meme on the internet. And Schnapp also doesn't know why or how it went viral because he says it was a representation of suffering and silence and a lot of us can relate to that. What's more, Schnapp talks about Stranger Things. Schnapp says that he thinks the final season of the show will be released in 2023 and the filming's currently under process. This could be a huge year for Will as a character, says Schnapp, who didn't reveal many details but said that the character ties back to where it all began. It'll be like a full circle. He says that fans will be shocked and pleased at the same time to see how the character wraps up. Okay, now we just can't wait for the fifth season. Next, Schnapp talks about juggling acting and school. Education's very important, even if you are a big star, and Schnapp knows it. He's a student at the University of Pennsylvania, and he says he's really having a good time at college so far. He takes his classes until he's needed on the sets of Stranger Things. Then, he switches to an online or virtual mode of learning, but he doesn't skip his classes. He's a great kid and a great actor. We wish him all the luck for the fifth season, and we can't wait for it to hit our screens. Now, moving on. Stranger Things took 2022 by storm with its best season yet. First up, fans had to wait a bit longer for the fourth season, but it was worth it. Stranger Things came back for a third season in July of 2019. No one thought that it would be bigger than ever and would be so famous. The show just had to be renewed by Netflix after all the success of the third season, and that's exactly what happened. It was renewed for a fourth season, and it was expected that it'll be released in 2021, but then COVID happened and destroyed everything. It affected the production of season four badly, and the fans had to wait a long, long time for season four. It's not easy to wait almost three years for your favorite show to drop, but when it did drop, it was a bang. Following up, Stranger Things was the best thing to watch on Netflix in 2022. There were some doubts about the fourth season when it was released. First of all, there were doubts about if the fans had lost interest in the show because they had to wait for a long time. And secondly, the fans were thinking if the creators will be able to top what they did in season three. Everything became clear when the show was released. No one lost interest in the show, and yeah, the creators somehow managed to top what they did in season three. Fans were just amazed. The new episodes quickly managed to revive the memories of the fans who forgot about some of the main characters and what happened to them in the last season, and they also introduced some new characters as well. The new characters took the show by storm and became an instant hit. One of the best newcomers on the show was Joseph Quinn. His addition to the show proved to be great. He played Edward Munson, aka Eddie. Eddie's a nerdy guy who is the leader of the Hellfire Club at Hawkins High. His humor quickly made the fans fall in love with him. Finally, season four was a perfect mix between nostalgia and fresh storytelling. This has to be one of the biggest strengths of the creators throughout the whole show. They're able to find the perfect balance between nostalgia and fresh storytelling, which is what makes Stranger Things so good. The way they used Kate Bush's running up that hill as a part of the main storyline helped the song to become very famous and revive the position of Dungeons and Dragons in pop culture through its amazing storytelling. These little things about the show make it so much bigger. Attention to detail is everything, and the creators clearly focus on that. Not only was it the biggest TV show of 2022, it really managed to improve its position in the list of one of the most famous TV shows of all time. The storyline, the characters, and the 80s setting, everything about the show was so good in season four. One thing is for certain though, no matter how long it takes them to release season five, fans will come back in the same amount as they did for season four. That's a wrap for this video. What is it that you love the most about Stranger Things? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.